All right, hi everybody. Today we are going to be working with the spring scale. Now the spring scale is a way to find weight. In the last video of the balance, we found a we used a tool to find mass. This is to find weight, and weight is the pull of gravity on an object. So this, much like our balance, needs to be adjusted in order to get accurate measurements. As you can see, this white measurement mark is not quite lined up with our different uh, weight increments. You can see that it is below zero. In order to get an accurate measurement, we need to adjust it. On the top of all of our spring scales, you'll see that there is this adjuster and it twists. It actually works by twisting on essentially a screw that brings this longer or shorter. Right? right now, it is still not at zero, but if you watch as I twist it, you can see that that white line will come up. If I twist it too much, it comes above the zero, and we have an inaccurate measurement. It's adjusted so weight is negative. I want it to be set at zero. I want to zero out my scale. So in order to do that, I twist. Counterclockwise brings it down, clockwise brings it up. And all you have to do is look. Almost zeroed. A little bit down. I think I've got it. You want it so it is flush with the zero. Then in order to find weight, now that I have it zeroed out, I would hang whatever my object is. And depending on the force gravity pulls down on that object, I can then find that object's weight. So this is your spring scale. That is how you adjust it, by either turning clockwise or counterclockwise in order to get a zeroed out spring scale. If you haven't seen the video about how to adjust your balance to find mass, you can find that here on the YouTube channel. Thanks.